Good evening. The uh, welcome to um, our humble abode. It's my wife Sally, uh, and um, she she won't see much of you other than at dinner, uh, and can, unless she uh, decides to grace us uh, with her presence. But she hasn't attended the seminar in maybe six months. Six months ago, she attended the full seminar, but she's been through it many, many times over the years. Um, the um, a, a couple of housekeeping announcements. Um, uh, one, uh, we breakfast is seven to eight, which you should already know. Uh, if you uh, you will be required to be promptly in the room at eight o'clock, the seminar room, uh, f- uh, which is not in the castle, which is in the pavilion, which is about 150 meters that way down the driveway on the right hand side. Um, the uh, we're going to have a lot of um, dramatic information for you guys. Um, uh, I hope that you brought a suit and a tie. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, you were supposed to be in it tonight. But that, that, that's why most of you are poor. You can't follow instructions. Uh, and the, uh, I'm going to treat you all the same, equally, like shit. Uh, in fact, not everybody's in the room right now. We're missing somebody, or maybe two. How many people are in the room right now? I don't sense 22... I didn't, I didn't sense 22 beating hearts. I'm like a fucking leopard. I can tell. Because to me, you're, you're, you're my meat. You're my... Uh, you look like the bouncer at a place that I went to in Trinidad about 10 years ago. Were you? No. Oh, okay. The, um, um, this is going to be transformational. Even for the people that I only scratched the surface on. Um, the, um, every morning we will film 15 minutes, uh, after lunch we'll film 15 minutes, and before the end of the evening we'll film 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to make two announcements here that are, I made at the London Reel. How many of you are London Reelers? How many are not London Reelers? Okay, good. Uh, the, um, as I told the Reelers on Saturday, I said, you're Reeler Losers. Because you seem to think that you're going to get by on one day what it takes, even the mediocre that you hopefully aren't, learn in seven days. Uh, and, but I was happy to help out uh, Brian Rose. Uh, and um, it's the first event I've done outside the castle this century. I haven't done one since late 99 when I did it uh, at the London Heathrow Airport. But the two announcements I made uh, at the London Real event, which will be coming out um, on uh, social media, uh, is number one, the, uh, I've started uh, a, a new podcast, uh, which has nothing to do with QLA. And, it's, um, and I really have to thank uh, Cr- Grant Cardone for the idea, because I got the idea from him when he interviewed me, uh, The Confessions of an Entrepreneur. The new podcast is uh, Reflections and Confessions. Uh, of the $50 billion man. And I've already filmed my first episode on the way from the Aberdeen Airport a couple of days ago in my new car that my wife just gave me for my birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the um, the uh, uh, Silver Ghost, uh, uh, the ghost outside, uh, we were taking pictures with it. Uh, I was going to buy one, uh, and um, Sally said, you shouldn't do that because I've already ordered you one. So... Um, it's early, but no, go, go right ahead, girls. Go, I don't want any. Thank you. Um, go right ahead. And uh, the, 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 um, the, the second uh, announcement um, that I'm, I'm making is that um, one of the complaints over the years from guys like you is that my materials were too expensive. So uh, a few years ago, I started giving all my, my product away, QLA. And what is not on my website, I said, go to... Torrent. I didn't even know what torrent was up until just the last couple of years. And so they did that. But then people complained to me, oh, geez, Dan, when you go to torrent, the server's not always up. And sometimes this fucking server goes down and it's hard to get your product. Now, I'm telling the assholes to get it for free on torrent or come to my site. And, and Dan, your site's not indexed and it's hard to find all the fucking shit on 500 pages. Can't you make it easier for us? Now, you have to just imagine what that sounds like to me. 
Loser! Fucking loser! So, but finally I decided, uh, not too long ago, um, at the suggestion of one of my superstars, a guy named Dan Loke, uh, who came to the seminar in 2004, Dan, let me put all your product on the internet for free. Let me index it. Let me do all the stuff. I'll put the servers up. I'll put the backup servers up. Let me do it for you as a favor for you making me rich. So I said, thank you, Dan, and that's what we've done. And, it's, and I'm just in the process, and my staff's just reviewing it, and it will go up in the next few weeks. So all my products, since time began, will be on the Internet for free. And I guarantee you, I will still get complaints. Gee, Dan, he's Chinese. I think he put it in Chinese. He's, he didn't put it in Chinese. Because notwithstanding you're here, paying ostensibly what you consider a lot of money, to me, I, I consider nothing, we have people that have written me a check for 100,000 pounds at the end of the seminar because that's what they thought it was worth to them. 100,000 fucking pounds. So just think about that when you're crying about all, all the money you spent to get here. I know that even though we're going to put the product on the internet for free, that there will still be complaints because not all of you are really serious about being a high-performance person. And we're going to find that out early on. We're going to find that out early on. Again, for those of you that don't know, we've had people piss their pants during the seminar. We've had a psychiatrist pass out and crack her fucking head on the wall during the seminar. And we've had a big four accounting partner shit his fucking pants during the seminar. That's the stress I put on you cunts. I can hear your hearts beating now. If you came up here for fun and games, a quality hotel charges about what you're paying for the seminar for seven nights. Forget the seminar. And we've got people like Robert, Bavarian Bob as we affectionately call him. Robert, what seminar is this for you? It's the tenth seminar. Tenth seminar since April of 2010. Now, he had the good fortune, paid, I might add, 10th seminar, he had the good fortune that the first seminar I gave where I instituted the formalized mentor program, he attended. The previous 17 years, I didn't have a formalized mentor program. I thought, well, you're all adults. Looking at you, that I'm not so sure that's accurate in this room. But you're all adults. You should be able to follow the program. You should be able to follow the steps. Unlike a 12-step program... Alcoholics Anonymous, etc. This is a seven-step program. The only difference is in a 12-step program, oh, he'll get sober when he wants to. I make you, or I throw you out of the fucking program because the mentor program is for free for the next 12 months. So if you don't do exactly what I fucking tell you, when I fucking tell you, I throw you out. So Robert, this is his 10th. He has not missed a seminar since April of 2000. 10. He was there at the London Real Seminar at the Ritz, Saturday. He brought his recently 15-year-old son, who had turned 15 a few days before. He's wanted to bring his 13 and 14-year-old, when they was 13 14, to this seminar, but I told him that I, I wouldn't accept him because I don't, I, have, I don't want to influence a young mind like that. But after meeting his young son, who's 15, I just told him today, he can have his 15-year-old son come to the seminar. And he's probably doing a much better job than a majority of you that are sitting here today, or standing here tonight. Because going to personal development, which this is not, going to, high, going to uh, success seminars, which this is not, has become vogue. You listen to podcasts, you listen to uh, DV, uh, MP3s, etc., etc., because you think that's part of the process of being a high-performance person. You don't even know what a high-performance person is, and you'll, and you'll find out what the definition is by the afternoon of the second day. But it's not. What the process is of doing all those other things is just wasting fucking time. Wasting fucking time. You have read a lot of books. I haven't. 
you don't know how to connect the dots. What you learn here in the next week is how to connect the dots. I'm going to show you a picture of a chimpanzee at the computer that knows more about QLA than you do. He can implement and execute QLA better than you. He's a fucking four-year-old chimp. He might be five now. But he's still a fucking chimpanzee. You don't need to be a physicist, rocket scientist like Bavarian Bob. Ten seminars. Now, if take, he's a rocket scientist, physicist, and he comes ten motherfucking times. Ten times. Our, another superstar we have has come six times. Another superstar we have has come 14 times. Now, wh wh why do you think that is? And the reason is, no matter how smart you are, it's a different thought process. It's a different way. If you know how to connect the dots, it's a different way of connecting the dots. It's a different way of looking at situations. As Robert would say, what would you rather have, a guy that's read 700 books or done 700 deals advising you? Absolutely, even though you, you look like you uh, fucking should be on the pig farm next door, the way you're dressed. Guys, I sent you an email, I believe, a, few, uh, a couple weeks ago saying that even, notwithstanding everybody's been nice to you, this is not a fucking party. You're going to have homework tonight. You're going to watch a movie after we have dinner. Every night except two nights, you have homework. Now... I've been asked, is this a doofus test because we start the, the, uh, the gig on April Fool's. We run through Good Friday, Easter Sunday, and Passover week. Was this a big doofus test? Well, I see a, a lot of doofuses in the room, but it wasn't because up until about a week ago, I didn't fucking know it was Easter week. Up until about a week ago, I didn't know that you were going to be here over Easter Sunday. Now I'm telling my wife, I want to do a real doofus test. We're going to have a seminar starting Christmas Eve, Christmas, Boxing Day, through New Year's. Now that's a fucking doofus test. And I am positive that the seminar would sell out. My wife whispers in my ear, says, uh, yeah, but uh, we're not going to be here. So even though it was a great idea, uh, my chartered accountant wife reminds me that we have other plans. But it was a great idea. But it shows your seriousness. Uh, I'm not going to ask you why you're willing to give up your Good Friday and uh, Easter Sunday, because I don't really give a fuck. But the point is that you're here. And the point is that those two nights, Good Friday and Easter Sunday, you go out and have dinner on your own. I also didn't plan that. It's just the way the calendar fell. And you're not here to bond. Some of you will bond. You're not here to change, exchange business cards. Some of you will. We're not here to put up Facebook pages. Some of you will. And even though I tell you not to do all these things, you'll do them because they're in your DNA. And that's why you're fucked up and that's why most of you are poor. So even though I can make a start of changing the way you think. It's the 12 months that come subsequent to the week long that I really do the damage on you. I really do the damage. Because if you miss either two weekly reports or a monthly conference call or a combination of three, I throw you out of the program. That's three. That doesn't sound a lot. But I guarantee you, some, one, one of you will miss the first conference call. I'll, I'm betting 20 to 1. I'm betting 100 to 1. In the first month, one of you, at least, will miss the weekly report. I can bet 1,000 to 1. Let's make it interesting. Why do I know that? Because it's happened for the last five years. That's how I know it. By the way, Cell phones are not allowed in the seminar room, either our laptops. If I hear a cell phone go off, I take it from you and I stomp on it. I do the, and if I see you open up your laptop, and don't give me the bullshit you're taking notes on your laptop. I don't buy that. That fucking dog don't hunt with me. So just remember, 
You're here to learn whether I have to knock your fucking teeth down shoving it on your big mouth or little mouth. Now, one other thing. There is such a thing as a stupid question. Unlike you heard in school, there are no stupid questions. There are here. Because I told you to read certain documents before you fucking got here. And it will become, become instantly obvious to me that if you didn't read the motherfuckers. And I will be down you on you like stink on shit about it. Genuine questions are gladly accepted. Idiotic questions aren't. There's a certain level of knowledge I expected you to have when you came here. That's why I told you to read the shit. Now, I normally say now, are there any questions? But there never are, so I'm not going to say that. But um, the, uh, you have free run of the castle. There's a games room with snooker and billiards and etc. up in the tower. We lock off the tower so you can't get out on the parapets for obvious reasons. Uh, the, uh, we haven't had any suicides here. We've had a couple attempted, but nobody cut correctly. If you want to commit suicide, I'll show you how to cut your arm if you want to kill yourself. And don't fuck around. Let's do it right. Uh, and uh, we've only had one try to drown himself in the lock. So, but other than that, we, it's been pretty peaceful here. We have two ghosts, more recently three ghosts. We have uh, t uh, Lady Guthrie and we have a Jamaican nanny. Both were violated and they threw themselves off the tower killing themselves. And more recently, we got some great Gatsby guy running around the castle dressed like great Gatsby. I don't know where the fuck he came from. But um, the, uh, we do have experiences where shit moves and green clouds form. But other than that, welcome again. My wife and I are happy to, to have you here. And I look forward to the next week a lot more than you. And I will have the same energy level on the afternoon of the last day. Uh, and you'll all be tired. And the reason why you'll be tired, you will be tired, because you're going to be coming to the sad realization that for almost everybody in this fucking room, you have pissed your entire life away. And that's a, that's a sobering motherfucking thing to have to say. Now, for some of you that look like about 15 years old, I mean, you haven't pissed too much away. But for those of you that are older, I pissed away 15, 20, 25, 30 years. And that's a sobering thing to come to the realization. But it's not too late. We can make changes. And uh, again, thank you. And YouTubers, <laughs> fuck yous. Thanks. <laughs>